But first, a group designed to help veterans needs your help tonight. It is a lifeline for veterans, but now it's in need of help. Dry Hooch opened its doors in Madison three years ago to support veterans. It helps with everything from PTSD peer support to providing assistance for veterans in need of housing. Now Dry Hooch is being forced to move to a new location, and Dave Delosier is here with what this means to the organization, Dave. Yeah, you know, in many ways, Dry Hooch is a safety net for the, for the veterans in our community. But as you said, right now, they are in need of someone to step in and provide a safety net for them. In a few months, they will be forced to leave their current home on Williamson. We kind of um, uh, like to be the one stop for veterans in need. You could call this an office, but it is so much more. We can see upwards of 70 veterans a week. And at Dry Hooch, it is about veterans giving veterans what they need. I think hope. I think they can get information. If they're looking for housing, if they're looking for food, if they're looking for anything, okay? Uh, and sometimes what a veteran needs most is for another veteran to be there. Uh, there are some things that veterans need to sit down and talk to other veterans about. And, uh, and our PTSD group is a good forum for that. Which explains why this is so much more than an office, but soon it won't even be that. The moving isn't entirely up to us. Uh, we're in a location uh, that we knew was scheduled to be demolished. Dry Hooch has found another location where they can move a better location that is walking distance to the VA hospital. We hope to uh, serve um, a greater number of veterans uh, in the new location. Uh, for one thing, uh, they won't have to worry about transportation too much. What worries Dry Hooch is paying to build out the new office space. They either need $15,000 to pay for the work or they need someone to help the ones who are helping the vets. What would be ideal if we had uh, one of the great um, general contractors that we have in this area uh, to step up and just do the whole thing? Um, but that's wishing for the sky. Now the other option is finding folks in the community with the skills necessary to build out an office space and bring them together to help. If you're interested in helping, we have information on channel3000.com on how you can donate. But what you really have right here is you have an organization that for so long has been helping veterans in the community, but right now they need some help themselves. Well, there's a lot of generous people out there. Hopefully you someone bet. can help. All right, thanks, Dave. You bet.